Welcome WrestlingFigs.com. Tim Ash here with none other than the beautiful Alicia. Alicia, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. The hair looks beautiful. Oh, You're out here at Comic-Con oh, rocking it. Blush. Stop. <laughs> Thank you. So the fans came out in droves to see you and Cody today. I mean, that's got to be exciting, especially for Comic-Con. Yeah, that was very awesome. And, um... There are actually a lot more fans than we had thought, so thank you guys for all your support. It was, it's been such an experience. This is my first year at Comic Con, so. Me too. Really? Yes. Okay, so that's why we're both not dressed up. But next exactly. year, I'm gonna have a crazy costume, hopefully. Who do you want to be? Um, I would really like to be Avatar, but I heard that we can dress up as princess. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna pick something like that because I love, I love girly stuff. So. It's good. I mean, they're all over the place. Today I'm just dressed up as Alicia Fox, and yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's always good though. It's always look at you. You look good. You got the high heels on. Stop. He's too much. Oh my God. <laughs> so, do you have a wrestling figure collection yourself? A uh, wrestling figure collection? Uh -huh. Um, actually, I yeah, I do. I just got the little baby Mysterio. He's oh, my okay. first one. That's your first one. My All first right. edition. Yes. The Comic Con exclusive. Yes, yeah. exactly. It's really cute. I would show you, but he's over there. But, um, yeah, yeah, so I, I saw you talking to Bill and the design team. They got a figure coming of you here soon, hopefully? Yeah, actually, today he just told me the good news. I'm going to have my first figure next year. That is incredible. Congratulations. I can't believe it. Thank you. I'm so excited. I hope they get my hair right because that changes all the time. So that's my biggest fear. Well, that means uh -huh. they're going to have to make more than one figure of you, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you've seen some of the figures here. Mm -hmm. Out of all the figures that you've seen, which one's your favorite? Um, I like all the ones with the bags on them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just kidding. But um, out of like the ones here, in this box, or just like in... In general, wrestling-wise. Oh, um, let's see. I like the figures that are like more gimmick-like, like more like special, like, right. I, like you know, like up here. It has like the more detailed costumes right. and like funny stuff. I saw one of um, Ricky Steamboat, and he yeah. had like the big then feather. Right, right a bit, yeah. Right up here in the yeah, that's actually one of my favorites. Yep. I really like that one a lot, and I think this one's really cool. The Macho Man one looks cool too. Where is Macho? He's over there. Oh yeah, he looks great. Yeah. And there's another one. That one. Yeah, I like them all. Yeah, I like any of them that have like cool outfits because I'm very big into clothes and fashion, so I love it. <laughs> now you started out not too long ago. Yeah. Who was your inspiration to get into wrestling? Um, I've had a lot of really great influences, but I think my favorite, inf or can I say like the girls that I met along the oh, way? Oh yeah. Like, I would have to say like all our veteran divas that here past, and you know even the ones upcoming. Like they've really influenced myself like to be better and to like really learn and in character Alicia Fox because I didn't come from a wrestling background. So I would have to say all of my diva mates. <laughs> Now, how has the transition from valet into wrestling done for you? Because you came out with DJ Gabriel when you mm -hmm. first came out, yes. as we know, and then you got into wrestling. So how has the transition helped you, and do you see yourself as a Divas Champion here in the near future? Well, yes. I held up the title before, which was an amazing opportunity. Um, the transition was really, actually, it was pretty easy. We had been training down in OVW and FCW, so... Like, um, I think for me it was just learning how to feel more confident in the ring um, because it's totally different, you know, right, right. with cameras versus, <laughs> like, in practice, you know. With 15 so, people. Yeah, exactly. So um, I felt the transition was actually, it was pretty easy. It's just still challenging trying to get your confidence and, like, keep building on it and working hard and doing all that. So I think the transition is still transitioning. Right. But it was great. I'm so excited to finally get in the ring, you know. Well, it's always a pleasure to have you. I hope to see you next year at Comic-Con. And congratulations on your success, and we'll see you in the future. You too. All thank right. you. Congratulations, and thank you right. so much for having me. Take care. Thank you, guys. We'll be back here at San Diego Comic-Con very shortly.